بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی اسٹارٹیڈ آور ڈسکشن اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ کورس کنٹینٹ ان لاسٹ کلاس اسپرچویلٹی اسپرچویلٹی ایکچولی مینس دا ٹولس آف پیوریفیکیشن وچ اسلام پرزینٹ اینڈ آفر اسلام پرزینٹ فائیو ٹولس آف پیوریفیکیشن ایکچولی دیر آر مور ٹولس آف پیوریفیکیشن بٹ وی شیل ڈسکس اونلی فائیو ٹولس آف پیوریفیکیشن نمبر ون شہادہ نمبر ٹو صلاح اینڈ نمبر تھری فاسٹنگ اور سونگ سوم از ون آف دا اوبلیگیٹری ایکٹ ان اسلام وچ ہیز بین میڈ مینڈیٹری فار دا بلیورس ان سیکنڈ ایئر آف ہجرا اور وسلم مائگریٹڈ فرام مکہ ٹو مدینہ ان دا سیکنڈ ایئر دا آیا فرام سورت البقرہ ور ریویلڈ چیپٹر ٹو آیا ون ایٹی تھری ون ایٹی فور اینڈ فیو مور آیاز آفٹر دیٹ آل آل دا آیاز ان دس پیسج فرام ون ایٹی ٹو ون ایٹی تھری فرام سورت البقرہ ٹاکس اباؤٹ سیورل کمانڈمنٹس اینڈ سیورل ادر تھنگس اباؤٹ دا فاسٹنگ فاسٹنگ از ناؤن ایز سوم سوم از وتھ سواد اور وتھ سین دس از وتھ سواد سوم اور سیام سوم از سنگولر اینڈ سیام از اٹس پلورل سو ان قرآن یو کوڈ فائنڈ سوم اینڈ سیام بوتھ بوتھ ورڈس ان سنگولر فارم اینڈ ان پلورل فارم سوم اینڈ سیام اٹس لٹرل میننگ از ٹو ایبسٹین ٹو ایبسٹین مینس رکنا بچنا پرہیز اختیار کرنا دس از سوم اینڈ اٹس ٹرمولوجیکل سینس سو مینس ٹو ایبسٹین فرام تھری تھنگس ایبسٹین فرام تھری تھنگس ایٹنگ ڈرنکنگ اینڈ سیکشول ریلیشنس فرام ڈان ٹو سن سیٹ فار وٹ فار دا سیک آف اللہ اونلی ناٹ فار اینی ادر ریزن ناٹ ٹو پلیز اینی ادر ون بٹ اونلی ٹو پلیز اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دس از دا موسٹ سیکرٹ ایکٹ امنگ آل آف دا ریچولس ہیو بین میڈ اوبلیگیٹری فار دا بلیورس دس از دا موسٹ سیکرٹ ایکٹ اینڈ یو نو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ایز مچ ایز لائک ہولی اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ وچ ایور دا ایکٹ یو ڈو گڈ ڈیڈ اینڈ یو ریمین کیپ اٹ سیکرٹ دس از مور یو نو سورس آف پلیزنگ فار اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ انڈرسٹینڈ سو وین یو آفر صلاح اٹ از ان فرنٹ آف پیپل ایون اٹ از انکریج ٹو آفر اٹ وتھ جما ان فرنٹ آف پیپل okay and same with the hajj billions millions of people around the globe who are watching you you are performing this act this is not secret understand and zakah and charity this is kind of secret act but at least another person to whom you are giving at least he is he she is in knowledge that you are giving something this is not much secret as the fasting fasting is between you and allah only until you unveil about yourself the fact that you are with fasting the holy prophet said when somebody offends you when somebody is ready to fight with you just say to him or her in nimrun saimun i am observing fasting 
I'm not ready to fight with you. I'm not ready to offend you. I'm not ready to कोई भी ऐसी चीज जो कि you know against the spirit of the fasting है, I'm not going to commit anything. Okay? So abstaining from these three things from dawn to sunset for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, this is called fasting. Eating when when a person when a believer is ready to abstain him herself from halal eating or halal drinking and lawful and halal sexual relations, this is actually the tarbiyah and training of the nafs, training of the oneself body. That if I am ready to abstain myself from all the things which are lawful, how I cannot kept myself away from all the things which are already forbidden outside of Ramazan. This is the biggest training. You know, uh, you are you need to apply all the things in training. What you are going to apply in the real co- competition. Aapko wo training ke wo karni hoti. So same with the Ramadan. If in Ramadan someone is not ready to observe all these obligatory acts which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks and demands so then what does it mean? What you know what you can guarantee about rest of the 11 months. So fasting is the training from dawn to sunset for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Clear? Its significance. Its significance is that it provides the training of self control means controlling all the desires and lust and Keep yourself purified and cleaned. By avoiding all indecent acts. This is called Takwa. which is ultimate purpose ultimate objective of the fasting let us check how Quran has developed argument about fasting please do open chapter 2 Ayah 183. Chapter 2, this is Surah Al-Baqarah. Who was the sign Surah Al-Baqarah? Okay. Allah says, A'uz billahi minash shaytan is wajih. Ya ajjuhal lazina amanu kutiba alaykum usriyam. Tumma kutiba alal lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattakhun. O you who believe, Kutiba alaykum usyam, fasting is prescribed for you. Kama Kutiba alil lazina min qablikum la alakum tattakun. As it was for those before you. So perhaps you will become mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the way how Quran talks, how Quran made something prescribed for the, for, uh, for the community. That Allah says, Kama Kutiba alil lazina min qablikum. It was prescribed for the people before you. You know, once a person individually suffering with any pain or doing something individually, he, she may feel that I'm in trouble. But once he, she informed that other people are doing the same thing, so it may be easy for him or her to bear it. So same is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, because this is a spirit, spiritual practice for the spiritual elevation, 
for inner self purification so allah subhanahu wa taala all ways prescribe this for all of the nations of all of the prophets time duration may be different theek hai from the muslim umma but this is equally you know prescribed in judaism in christianity like revealed religion there is practice of fasting exist and same with the religions which are you know non revealed religions in hindu mat even uh, name may be different aprat parat something like that there is <clears throat> this practice also exist in all of the religions la allakum tattaqun this is a place where we should do focus on la allakum tattaqun so become mindful of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so become muttaqi since fasting is the greater source to make us muttaqi to give us taqwa mindfulness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taqwa means change from the inner self voice of inner self once someone is changed from inner self no need for him or her to be you know forced from outside for to do anything when someone is ready to commit anything from the inner self so taqwa is that kind of power islam is the only religion which introduce such powers from the inner self taqwa is the biggest force no no police no army no any other action force is required no one can put this um, impact on any human being until someone is ready to do or commit something from the inner self so islam called it as taqwa and second way quran talks about this ayyam ma'dudat prescribed number of days ye bhi ek tarika hota hai to make to convince others ke thode se do din hai theek hai after one year ye one month ke hain number of days hai theek hai either 29 or 30 the holy prophet said uh, every qamri months lunar months maybe 29 maybe 30 same with the ramadan 29 or 30 so if it consists of 29 allah subhanahu wa taala shall give you the reward of complete 30 days so no need to criticize blame or saying any bad thing to the uh, people who are working this ke ji hamara ek roza kha gaye aisa kar diya waisa kar diya no whatever the chance is given to you just do that this is problem with them and with allah subhanahu wa taala if they have done anything with bad intention ill intention this is a their matter is relevant to allah subhanahu wa taala what we are need to obey is that if they are asking us ramzan begin then we have to start working accordingly okay so allah says prescribe number of days thode se din faman kana minkum mariizan aw ala safarin fa iddatu min ayyamin ukhar in this ayah 184 which is in front of us it talks about three exempted people from the fasting there are three categories of the people who are exempted from saum number one one who is unable to observe fasting due to illness severe illness mareez okay mareez means severe illness is considered once a doctor suggest to someone that if you observe fasting your disease may be increase it may be fatal for you it may cause any harm to your body then he she just excused from the fasting otherwise not in sherry style aaj mere sar mein dard hai aaj mere stomach mein pain hai aaj mera ye masla hai aaj mera dil nahi kar raha roze ko is tarah se jo lame excuses hai theek hai this can not make someone excuse from the fasting okay so um, isme ye shart hai मरीज ऐसा हो जिसको डॉक्टर कहे और डॉक्टर के लिए भी शर्त है कि वो मुतदजन हो मुतदजन मीन्स ही हैज वेल इनफ नॉलेज ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फास्टिंग ऐसा ना हो कि हिम सेल्फ हर सेल्फ वो उसको उसका पता ही ना हो कि दीन के अहकाम क्या है बस वो अपनी फील्ड में माहिर तो है बट उसको पता नहीं है कि इसका रोज़ा छूट गया तो उसका नुकसान कितना बड़ा होगा इवन इफ सम वन इज अलाउड टू एक्सक्यूज फ्रॉम द फास्टिंग एंड कैन री टेक लेटर ऑन तो होली प्रॉफिट साइड के वो वाला दिन जो उसने मिस किया वो तो क्या मत तक नहीं आएगा रमजान का दिन तो गुजर गया अब उसका बाद में रोजा तो रख लेगा लेकिन वैसा दिन तो नहीं आएगा वैसा स्पिरिचुअल डे कि जिसमें यह कहा गया है कि इफ यू परफॉर्म एनी कॉन्ग्रेशनल एक्ट कोई नफल आप करते हैं ठीक है इट इज रिगार्डेड एज द ओब्लीगेटरी एक्ट रिवॉर्ड उसको फर्ज के बराबर सवाल मिलते हैं वन समर्म ऑब्लीगेटरी एक्ट सिंगल ऑब्लीगेटरी एक्ट इट इज 
یو نو ریوارڈیڈ ایز سیونٹی پرسینٹ مور اللہ اس کو ستر فیصد زیادہ بڑھا کے اس کو قبول کرتے ہیں سو وہ دن تو رمضان کے بعد کبھی نہیں آئے ٹھیک ہے سو فرسٹ کیٹیگری از اللنس سیکنڈ ون از ٹریولنگ اف سم ون از ایکسکیوز ڈیو ٹو ٹریولنگ ٹھیک ہے then every traveler every traveler is exempted from some one who is traveling from home to university shadra se uthe janab aa jaye chalo ji main to badi mushakkat mein hu janab badi mushkil se convenience mili hai so i was traveling theek hai ji so i'm exempted from some to so, uski train se aaye janab udhar se raivind se aaye janab udhar se manga se aaye theek hai ادھر سے جناب مرید کیسے آئے کہ نہیں جی وہ ام ایگزامپٹڈ فرام سون کیا ہے اسپیسیفک یس یس منزل ماڈرن ڈیز میں اس کی جو اس کو جو کیلکولیٹ کیا گیا ہے وہ کیا گیا ہے اباؤٹ فورٹی ایٹ مائلس فورٹی ایٹ مائلس آر ایکول ٹو آلموسٹ سیونٹی فائیو کلو میٹرس If you intend to travel next day morning for 75 kilometers, second uh, condition is away from home. Leaving your station is mandatory. If you are even traveling 75 kilometers but within the city, as like salesman does, salesman travel the whole city, na? Usne ek ek market ke ek shop pe jane. Shadra se uthe, Raimund mein aaye, cheeze distribute karo, kai is chalo ji, mein to, janaab. روزے سے میں فالی فارغ ہوں ہم فری فرام فاسٹنگ نو لیونگ دا اسٹیشن اٹ از مینڈیٹری ٹھیک ہے اینڈ گوئنگ ایٹ لیسٹ سیونٹی فائیو کلو میٹرس اوے فرام ہوم ٹھیک ہے آج کل اس ڈسٹینس کو میئر کرنا کوئی مشکل نہیں ہے کہ ویئر آئی ایم ٹریولنگ ٹھیک ہے کتنا مجھے ٹریول کرنا ہے سو ہی شی از ایکسکیوز بٹ دیر آر ٹو تھنگس نمبر ون عظیمہ نمبر ٹو رخصہ عظیمت مینس ڈٹرمن آئی کین بیئر آل دا ہارڈ شپس آج کل تو سفر کی اتنی مشقتیں ہیں بھی نہیں ہیں لیٹ می وائی شوڈ آئی ایکسکیوز ٹھیک ہے ایم ہیلدی انف وائی شوڈ آئی شوڈ ناٹ بی گریٹ فل ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ آئی شوڈ آبزرو فاسٹنگ دس از عظیمت عظم اوکے سیکنڈ از رخصت یو آر ایکسکیوز ٹھیک ہے انجوائے اٹ کوئی بات نہیں ٹھیک ہے ہیو ادر نمبر آف ڈیز جتنے آپ کے فاسٹنگ میں اس کے ٹریولنگ کی وجہ سے مس ہو گئے ٹھیک ہے ونس رمضان پاسٹ یو نیڈ ٹو آبزرو فاسٹنگ ٹھیک ہے بٹ ونس اے رمضان پاسٹ ایسا نہ ہو کہ صاحب واپس آئے رمضان کے روزے بھی رکھ رہے ہیں ساتھ ساتھ وہ قزا کی نیت بھی کی ہوئی ہے ایک ٹکٹ میں جناب دو دو چیزیں ٹھیک ہے جی ایسا نہیں ہے ٹھیک ہے ونس رمضان پاس ایکول نمبر آف ڈیز نیڈ ٹو بی ریٹیکن سو دس از سیکنڈ ون ٹریولنگ مینس شری شری مسافت شری مسافت کتنی ہے فورٹی ایٹ مائلس اوے فرام ہوم ٹھیک ہے سمن انٹین ٹو ٹریول نہیں 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 بس یو آر الاؤڈ آن دا نیکسٹ ڈے آورس میں اف یو انٹین ٹو ٹریول ٹھیک ہے بٹ ہاؤ ایور اگر آپ رکھ چکے ہیں تو پھر آپ اب آپ کو نبھانا ہے ٹھیک ہے If you can wait until Zawal, okay, or the midday, okay, then you need to go and observe, okay? If you are living before Zawal, okay, if you have a day, then you can alter your niya, okay, okay, I'm excused, okay, I may enjoy this, okay, 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 two hoge, number three. سمن از ایکسکیوز ڈیو ٹو آلڈر ایج ٹھیک ہے باڈی از سو ویک گرینڈ مدر گرینڈ فادر مدر فادر اور اینی ون ایلس ایٹ ہوم ٹھیک ہے جی ڈاکٹرس ہیز سجیسٹ ہیم او ہر ناٹ ٹو آبزرو فاسٹنگ اینڈ ہی شی ہیم ہر سیلف از ڈس اپوائنٹیڈ دیٹ ہی شی کین ناٹ آبزرو فاسٹنگ دس لانگ ڈے اوکے فار ایور بیکاز جوانی اب دوبارہ تو نہیں آ سکنی نہ ہی وہ طاقت کبھی دوبارہ آئے گی Once gone, pass. Okay? Uh, Shriya term 
is used for that is Sheikh Fani. Sheikh means Buddha. Fani means Fana hone ke tarib. About to die. Okay. So due to older age, one uh, oneself also excused. Okay. This is the third category. Okay. If remember, if someone, uh, if the case is that uh, old person, men or women can observe fasting in the winter Ramadan, but cannot in the summer. He, she cannot enjoy this excuse because at least he, she is able to observe fasting anytime. TK cannot pay fidya for that. If he, she has paid fidya and after that he, she recovered or able to observe fasting, then he, she has to retake all those days that he, he she has already paid fidya. Fidya would be considered as charity or sadqa. But usse roza so these are the three categories. Illness, take every illness, even the women who are in specific days, so uh, she also fall in this first category. She cannot observe fasting on those number of days and she has to retake those number of days once the Ramzan passed, when she is uh, in the clean uh, mode. Okay? So illness, the uh, first one here, is may be retake hai, hai? second traveling, hai? is may be retake hai. but the third category, there is no retake, but to pay the fidya. Understand? This question commonly comes in the exam. What are the three categories of the exempted people from song? And what is the difference between those categories? Difference is that in first two cases, there is retake. But in third case, there is no retake but to pay yeah. fidya. Fidya amount, fidya is equal to almost 2 kgs wheat. Whatsoever in the city he, she resides. What is the cost there of 2 kg wheat? Or he, she can feed a needy person, miskin or fakir, twice in the day. A general, uh, you know, tradition or culturally now in our society is that people generally make someone uh, to observe fast twice they serve ठीक है जी तो एक दिन का फिदिया इस तरह से भी अदा हो जाता है ऑलमोस्ट दो टाइम का खाना आपने दे दिया किसी को रोजा रखवा दिया छुड़वा दिया तो वो हो जाता है बट इसमें लोग क्या गलती करते हैं लोग अपने ही मुलाजिम को जो उन पर ऑलरेडी डिपेंड है उसी को आके समझते हैं कि हमने फिदिया अदा कर दी नहीं वो ऑलरेडी आप पे डिपेंड उसकी तो کفالت आपने करनी है तो उसको आप फिदिया में कंसीडर नहीं कर सकते Fidya is separate charity, charitable work, which is obligatory, it is charity. Nahi Understand? So, which of Fidya is to calculate karna hai, 30 days? Hai? For example, in Lahore, in these days, uh, uh, suggested for 300 rupees according to the wheat. It could be paid in different terms, na? Fidya. Jo hai. Hai? Fidya could be paid. In different terms, fidya is equal to fitrana. Fitrana, what we pay for the compensation once the Ramzan is going to end before Eid pray, jo fitrana hum dete. Both have the same amount. It could be paid, both could be paid in different terms. In terms of wheat, half sa. Half sa means two and quarter kg wheat or its cost. Ye hai half sa. But in other terms, barley, kishmish, rice, theke? dates, khujur, un sab mein full sa hai. Full sa ek pemana ka, wo five kg. So it depends what kind of the standard of living is yours. If you enjoy life, then you will enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. ठीक है तो फिर आप दूसरी तरफ में जाएं अच्छे वाली चीज खर्च करें क्योंकि अल्लाह के रास्ते में आप जितनी अच्छी चीजें खर्च करेंगे अल्लाह उतना खुश होता है सो सेम फिदिया फितराना कुड बी पेड इन डिफरेंट टर्म्स लेकिन उसमें फिर ये सेग्रीगेशन और ये डिफरेंस है दोनों के बीच क्लियर है सो दीज आर द थ्री एग्जांपल्स पीपल फ्रॉम द फास्टिंग क्लियर है